Live, the news you count on. NBC2, news at 5.30. Student artists have placed hundreds of bottles of dishwashing soap all along Lover's Key. It's part of a conceptual art installation, as it's called, to express their feelings about the oil spill. NBC2's Lynn Bowie explains the message behind the project. You can start to make them out from the bridge. More than 600 bottles of Dawn along Lover's Key State Park. It's a message as well as it's, we're basically adorning the beach also. The assignment for these Edison State College students, an art project on the beach. Right away, they saw it as a chance to express feelings about the oil spill that were bottled up. Being Floridians, being environmentalists anyway, we're naturally quite upset about the situation. The student artists spent all morning emptying their trunks and dragging the Dawn bottles down the beach. We're putting down the small bottles first. Then setting up a single line along the shore. It's commentary on the oil spill response. The name of the piece is Threat Level Blue. It's kind of a response of the media's reaction, um, the country's reaction, the world reaction to what's happening here. And how it was so personified as a military battle as if this now the oil is the enemy. And also commentary on the soap company. In the Dawn commercials, the soap is used to clean off animals. So the idea behind this project is maybe a fence of Dawn could protect us from the oil spill. It's meant to be sarcastic, though slightly hopeful. In part, referencing the kind of absurdness that Dawn could possibly shelter us or build a wall or a fence of protection from this spill bring an awareness of the helplessness of the magnitude of this cause, finding comfort in the fact that we all feel overwhelmed and helpless. But as of right now, our shores are clean, and this line of defense, just conceptual art, not reality. In Lover's Key, Lynn Bowie, NBC2.